Wrong number. Oh, uh, it should be in the closet. Oh, when he puts the key in the door, you... I turn up. Right. You turn out the lights, and when you walk him in, I'll jump him. No, 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 no you are you are. you are. <laughs> no, listen, seriously, folks. I'll lead him in, and I'll say... Oh, Mike, I don't know what happened. I'm the fuse blue. <laughs> and now I'll rush out and I'll turn on the lights. It's and then we'll all scream, happy birthday, Captain Block. <laughs> well, all I gotta say is I hope he has a sound heart, Timmy. Listen, you didn't tip him off about the party, did you? Me? No, no. As a matter of fact, he was a little angry with me when I left the station. Wanted me to hang around. I don't know why. I don't understand. <laughs> I left five minutes after you do and it looked like I stuck a knife in him. How do you put up with him? Oh, well, I, I learned not to expect anything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. Now, don't tell me he's stuck at the office on a case. Oh, if that's coming. him, if that's him on the phone, it will be. Hello. With blanket. Mrs. Haynes? Yes? This is Captain Ferguson. Headquarters. Yes? I'm sorry to have to tell you that your husband has been shot. No. Please come to the Bellevue morgue to claim the body. What's the matter? Hey, what is it? Matter? Hey, what is it? Gracie, what is it? So we have the phone top because well, now he won't talk. They're all public phones, too. No special area. And by the time we get there, he's gone. He's got my wife climbing a wall. She's talking to herself. But why don't you send her away for a couple of weeks, Lieutenant? Ah, uh, she's... I don't know. Well, thank God my daughter's away anyway. Well, change your number. Get an unlisted one. If I did that, how would we get him? Could this nut be somebody who's seen your name in the newspapers recently? The reporters asked my name. I say Lieutenant Haynes. But please, do me a favor. Just say, an unidentified detective. We've gone over all the current cases. Could be any one of them. If we could just get the guy to talk, we might record his voice, then you could recognize him. Hello. Hello. Hello! You filthy coward. Why did you say something? What do you want? Lieutenant Haynes, 27 squad. Oh, dear, I went. All right, take it easy, sweetheart. Yes, I will. All right, just take it easy, huh? Called again. Never said a word. But you said you can go to jail for this, you just laughed at it. Hello, honey. Listen, jump over and see Grace for a little while, huh? Yeah, the same bum. That's right. Okay. He laughs when she mentioned jail? Luke, could this be somebody that you arrested already and he just got out? It's possible. Anything's possible. Look, Lieutenant, why don't you just go home, huh? You've been here, what, 14, 16 hours? Now, we'll search the files and make a list of every arrest you've made since you've been here. Sure, we'll contact CIB, Department of Correction, everybody. We'll get the names of every man that you've arrested who's been released, say, within the last two months. I made up my mind. I'm just going to ignore it. I must hope he doesn't catch him. God knows what he'd do. I worried about him in the Navy. I worried about him when he became a rookie. I worried about him when he became a detective. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, hello. Ethel? Hi. Hi. You want some coffee? No, thanks. Any calls? Uh-uh. What's that? Oh, I found it by the drawer. Well, where'd you get this? I don't know. Someone sent it to my wife. Sorry. 
Alrighty. Okay, I'll check it out. Hey, check the dispositions on these cases, will you, Dick? Yeah, sure, Jeff. All right. Really? How are you? All right. Well, I'm not. Mike, it's been building all day. I want that phone out of this house. I mean it. I, I want him to stop calling. And if the phone's disconnected, maybe he'll do just that. Does this look like he's going to stop? The only prints they found out were mine. Now, look, sooner or later, he's going to make a slip. We'll uncover something. It always works that way. Now, look, stop worrying, will you? We'll get him. Now, do me a favor, Jack. Look it up for me. Now tell me what prison he was sent to. Right. Thanks, kid. He may be sharp, but he's also sick. I'm going to be sicker if this keeps up much longer. Is this the way the police department treats people like me? We'll get him sooner or later. Mike, this is not a chess game, and I'm not going to wait for him to make his next move. I come to you because you're my husband, and you act like a cop. Why don't you take a breather, Jeff? Okay, in a minute, Johnny. Hey, Jake. Call Rikers Island and the Department of Corrections. See if you can come up with something on these guys. Huh? Right. Yeah. No kidding. Hey, that's great. Hey, fellas. Yeah, when was he released? Six weeks ago? Well, thanks a lot. I think we got a hot one. So we got three all together. Scotty, baby. Yeah. Give the officer a drink. What'll it be? Nothing, huh? Nothing you could really sink your teeth into. Yeah, and I've been waiting to get those guys. Shylock, professional gangster, punk, any one of them. I'm gonna confront the three of them. Yeah, but you might scare them off. I learned a lesson. Never again will I pick up my hands to a cop. Hello, Lieutenant. George? Two scotches, Scotty. I hope you're not looking for me. Because you'd be wasting your time. Legit now. A banana salesman. Not with the push cart no more. <laughs> I sell bananas wholesale. But who owns the store? Why, Scotty Baby does. George, uh, someone's been making obscene phone calls to my wife. Hey, I don't like that. I hope you don't think it's me. Because I don't bear no grudges. You got to do what you got to do. That's part of the game. Matter of fact, Lieutenant, if I knew who it was, I'd do you a favor. I'd put on my high shoes and use him for a football. They use me for a horse. Hurry up, hurry up. That's all I hear these days. You know, in construction, Lieutenant, you don't walk. You run. And you keep running. Look at my hands. Why? Because of a bum rap. I locked you up for parole violation, Eddie. It was the parole board that decided you had to make up the time you owed. Three years? That's a long time to hang for being in a pool room. Not for being in a pool room, Eddie. For armed robbery, that was the rap. I ain't gonna argue with you. I mean, this isn't the place. I'm in enough trouble already. You're right. You guys are always right. I said you're wrong. All I know is I walk into a pool room, I play a little cards, and I end up doing three years. For parole violation. You're wrong! But you can forget about those phone calls. First, it ain't in me. Second, I ain't got time to make no phone calls. And third, who's got the money? Lieutenant, come in, come in. My home is your home. Go ahead, sit down. Sit down. Thank you. He's got those chairs yesterday. 
So. Hey, listen, Joe. We're talking. Sister, we're Angie. talking private. Oh. Hey. And this the cop? The, the, the big mouth from the court. Uh, Haynes. Ain't you bothered us enough already? Ain't you got time to lock up the muggers, the junkies? Shut up and get inside. Go ahead! What do you expect? She's just a woman. Maybe I shouldn't have come here, Jojo, but... No, 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 you can come here anytime you want. Yeah, she gets me so excited I forgot my manners. Listen, why don't you stay and eat with us, huh? No. Come on, eat well, with I us. I can't. Esther! Listen, I just Esther. ate... Esther! No. Esther! Esther! Look, I just hey, ate... Wait a minute. Put another plate on the table. No, thank you, really. I, I'm all right. Are you sure? Jojo, I'll tell you why I'm here. Someone's been calling my house, annoying my wife. Oh, wait a minute, Lieutenant. Me? I don't do that kind of stuff. I give you my word of honor, my right hand to God. I don't do things like that. And if I hear something, I'll let you know. All right, thank you. I'd appreciate it. Okay. yourself all edgy with these phone calls. You want my advice? Take some time off. You haven't even had a vacation yet. Look, three weeks ago, I tried to get... Don't three... give me that. I checked. Look, I'm snowed under work here. I mean, this is a busy shop. I got a million Every things Every squad is a busy shop, Mike. You're not indispensable. Nobody is. It gets done, the work. Unless some of those guys out there are dead wood, and if you got dead wood, just tell me. Now, wait a minute. I can't complain about them. I got good men. Then give them a chance, Mike. Look, it'll take me a week just to make plans to go away. So, you only got one week in Florida. Here, put yourself in for vacation starting Monday. I already signed it. And no more overtime until then. You follow your regular worksheet and you go home when you're supposed to. We'll see whether those guys out there are cops or prima donnas. Now remember, Mike, no more overtime. Right, Chief. Did you get anything at that funeral parlor? Well, the manager said all they knew was they got a phone call asking them to come by your house. It's got to be one of these three, Lieutenant. It's just got to be. Well, then sit on them. A little pressure and they almost killed you. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure and he made him out of his hole. Off. You paying me? You ain't paying me, so don't worry about me sneaking off. For your information, I'm calling my bookmaker, and don't ask me for his number. What do you want, Jojo? Now, come on, Lieutenant. If anybody sees me walking into the station house voluntarily, they'll give me a black eye. Well, I still don't see what right that gives you to come to my house. You came to mine, didn't you? And I even invited you to dinner, right? Excuse me. Come on in. Thanks. Compliments of the owner. I'm gonna level with you, Lieutenant. Your boys don't have to follow me no more because I ain't involved in nothing. Well, that's good news. 
I'm glad to hear you're rehabilitating yourself. I have. You can believe I've been re, uh, you know, changed. Now look at me. My eyes are clear, my face is clean. Reason I come down here is I know you're a straight guy. Oh, hi. Jojo, this is my wife. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Can I, uh... It's all right, go ahead. Sit down. The reason I'm here, Lieutenant, is my wife. You met her. She gets sick easy. Woman trouble. Now she's getting to be a nervous wreck. You gotta do something about it. Your man. She keeps looking over her shoulder all the time. She can't take that kind of pressure. She's a woman. Can your wife take that kind of pressure? I'm sure you don't like to see her suffer. My wife's human, too. Give her a break. We're conducting an official police investigation. Now, it's not our intention to harass you or your wife. It's just that we have to cover all the bases. I plan to do something about this, Lieutenant. With all respect to you, Mrs. Haynes, I ain't just a punk. I got a lot of friends. You may not think so, but I got a lot of friends. In a lot of places, they carry a lot of weight. You're gonna find out I'm somebody. Just cause I'm nobody, huh? You're doing this to me cause I'm nobody. Now next time, I'll make my complaint to the police commissioner. Hey, why don't you go after the, the real bums? The racketeers? The Shylocks? You know who they are. You know them better than I do. When we get the proper evidence, we act. Racketeers, Shylocks, and nuts who bother innocent people with phone calls, who try to kill them by running them down. Me? Hey, I'll go to the police commissioner on you, and I'm not kidding. You got no right to accuse me. You ain't even got no right to follow me. I'm going straight. Look at my hands. They work me like a horse. I've done my time. I'm no bum. I think my civil rights are being stepped on. I am not accustomed to having you sitting around the house. Honey, why don't you take a walk or go for a ride or something? I'm just not used to you sitting around. There are a thousand things I can do. Well, who's stopping? You are. I want to clean this room. Well, you did yesterday, didn't you? Were you able to trace that call? Where? A phone booth. All right, thanks. Yeah, thanks. I'm sure Big George is still involved in bookmaking, Shylocking. Yeah, we only had enough men to follow him all the time. Is Big George still giving out free whiskey? Uh, now he won't even look at me. <laughs> I gotta make a report on the bookmaking observation. Maybe the division can come up with something. How about your laborer with the calluses? Lives with his sister. You should see her, boy, is she a weirdo. Skinny as a rail, no teeth. She fights with everybody, the janitor and the grocer. <laughs> it must be tough on him. He never goes out, his job, home. Does he stay home? So far as I know, but then I can only watch the entrance to the house. He's still got the yards to sneak through and the roof. You need three guys to cover every man. Sound like a bomb. It sounded like a bag full of air being broken. Hello. Hello. Who is this? Where? Now? All right. What is it? Who? Who was it? Jojo. The fellow was here the other day. Jacobs. This is Haynes. Listen, I want you to have Ward and Corso meet me at Fulton and Williams Street in half an hour. Jojo said, why don't you go to Fulton? 
Fulton and William Street? You might find something of interest there. That's it, word for word. And that's good information? For JoJo it is. He's got a criminal mind. He despises informers. This way he can say he didn't point the finger. He just made a vague general statement. Got to be Eddie. Eddie the laborer. All right, come on, let's look around. Johnny, why don't you go up in the building? I'll check with the foreman. Huh? Step closer and I'll jump. Look at my hands. I got calluses on top of calluses because of you. I was in a pool room playing cards. I did three years. Three years for playing cards in a pool room. You know why you got three years? I offered you 900 bucks. 900 bucks every stinking cent I won in that game. It's your idea of justice. Eddie. Eddie, now listen. Come on with me. Come with me. It's the easiest way out, believe me. Eddie, come on. to let him out in the first place. In a way, I feel sorry for him. After all the damage he did? I used to look down on these, you know, weirdos when I was a kid. It could never happen to a guy like me. Never. I don't know. You see people under stress, how they act. I'm not so sure anymore. Well, you'll forget the whole thing in a day or two, Lou. Maybe I will. That bothers me, too. There's so many people out there. They get along fine when they're on our side of the fence, and then suddenly something happens, and wham, they're on the other side. I don't know. It seems as I get older, I find that more and more people are gravitating to the other side of the fence. Lieutenant Hayes, 27th. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a guy ran amok on a construction site. He was arrested by four detectives. Anybody want his name in the paper? No, thanks. Well, we'll gladly give you the names, but we'd prefer if you just said four unidentified detectives. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Get your name in the paper. It's like putting your face on a dartboard. 